up, Scotty. Beat me up, Scotty. My nickname's The General. Yeah, I didn't call myself The General. They called me The General. I've had, what is it, 13 fights, one loss, 12 wins, but 12 of them wins come in by knockout. So that probably explains why The General it is. My name's Jonathan Agate, fighting out of um, Kettle's Gym, uh, Team Underground, Old Kent Road, from South London. I've been fighting for basically 13 years, mate. I've been doing it since I was a kid. I'd say it's good to get into, it gives you a bit of confidence. Like, you know what you're capable of, so you don't have to show a lot of people. You do get non-professional fighters, but um, with me, it is my life, do you know what I mean? Like, I finish training and I'm, I go home, I watch fighting on the YouTube. My training ain't finished, I go home and I carry on. Basically, when my dad was younger, he started doing it. I got into it, and then from there, mate, just enjoyed it, loved it. You know what, I'm getting noticed now in the tire boxing industry and um, a lot of people are mentioning my name and I want to be the best, they're putting me up to fight with the best. So um, my next fight, I'm fighting someone from Thailand, he's got over like 200 fights. This will be my 13th fight, but he's, um, he's one of the best fighters in the, on the planet tire boxing wise. His name's Superlek, he's very, very strong. I've, I've trained with him before. I haven't really sparred with him, but what I've seen from him, he, he's a monster. I used to watch him when I was when I was growing up watching tire boxing. That's who I was watching. So to be in the ring with him, my next fight is, is good, and it I got to take that opportunity. Also, the training, the training for this fight is just going to be immense. I train really hard, but for this one, I got to train extra hard. Three times a day training, running four times a week. Just no shortcuts. I don't really take shortcuts anywhere. I'm always I'm on it. I'm on it, so no shortcuts taken. You know, people understand. From this, I'm from this gym where everyone, everyone does it, so everyone's in the same situation. Do you know what I mean? So they all know. It's hard. You gotta get through it. My favourite part is just like just getting in there, mate. And you're drilling in, Do you know what I mean? Walking into that ring, just knowing that you're gonna have a tear up. The aim for me is to get a few more world titles in the tire boxing. So then um, hopefully I can get into the UFC. But obviously it's not that easy. You have to go through um, stages. But when I do get in the UFC, I want to be not forgotten about. I just want to be known as like the world champion in tire boxing. Normally I run to get my weight off and then eat healthy. But when it gets to the last, like, say two weeks, I'm proper strict. You know, it's, de it's definitely to do with work, right? Really. Definitely. you got to put the, the work you put in, it shows when you're in the ring, like the work that you've put in. So you're not getting tired, so it shows that you, you've you been working in the gym. So if you're getting tired in that ring, people know you ain't been working. When I'm in the ring, I'm always trying to focus, like, when to throw shots and um, the right time to throw shots. Because if you throw a shot and it ain't the right time, you can get caught. All sort of things. You got you got to be patient as well. Sometimes you can't always rush in because before I've rushed in, I've been caught. But um, if you just sat back and observe, it's like a game of chess, really, isn't it? Now the, the best feeling, mate, is when you get the knockout stoppage. Yeah, you, everything just takes over and like you just get excited. Before I've jumped out the ring, before, mate, just run. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's getting it's exciting. Once all that training's over. Everything builds up to that fight, and then once that fight's over, especially when you win and it's over, just so much weight comes off your shoulders. Especially when there's a belt on the line as well. Like, I'm in the ring, like, the, the ref says, go back to your corner, so I'm in the corner. My dad don't normally get in my, my corners, does he, because he gets a bit high rated and that. But I'm sitting in the corner, and he comes up, he runs up the side, Joe, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. I'm like, yeah, yeah, sweet, sweet. So when he's telling me, I'm thinking, rah, I need to switch on. My dad having the gym, the main thing. That's the main thing. I don't, if he didn't have the gym, so I don't think I would have made time to train. But when he's got the gym, I can't, I gotta make the time because he's here. It's down the road. It's like a family here as well. So if I'm not training, I'm here, I'm just chilling upstairs. So this makes me a better fight at this gym, to be honest. So the night before my fights, I can't sleep. 
So I'm just constantly thinking, I close my eyes, I'm constantly yeah. thinking what's the scenario, what's gonna, what's gonna happen. When you're walking into the ring, your legs are jelly, not gonna lie, your legs are jelly. But once you're in that ring and the bell goes, everything's just normal. As soon as you touch gloves and you're ready to fight, uh, instincts kicked in. Never miss out on the latest content from No Games Entertainment. Subscribe now.